So how you doing? I got a I got a guy right here. This Michael, this is uh, the guy. You remember that the video I just put up? A uh, guy challenging Michael Grimm, right? This is this is Omar. Omar Vad, right? This might be a good one, right? So he he agreed to uh, to interview. So here we go. They're getting signatures. They're trying to gather the signatures so that Omar can get on the ballot. So, so let him talk to constituents and we'll get him on there. He already agreed to talk. That's how it works. People, guys out in the street, they're talking. Politician. Politicking, running against the crooked, crooked mayor. Crooked, crooked politician. Let's hear what he's saying. Large bread's the best. Yeah, they, it sounds gross, but I promise. Ignore the name, just eat it. And they do like a like a fig and walnut bread. Uh, it, it's seasonal, but uh, it's just straight ahead. It's not far. I think it's like I want to say it's like 92nd Street. You'll see a Starbucks, and it's, it's on this side of the street. And yeah, just at least take a peek inside. And uh, incredible baked goods, you know, cookies, and whatever. But the food is great too. Yeah. Penny and Tico. Thank you. All right. So how you doing, Omar? How are you? Hi, my name is Omar Vaid. I'm running for Congress here, New York 11, Staten Island, and South Brooklyn, challenging one Michael Grimm. All right. Nice to meet you. So we know we yeah my uh, so we know who Michael Grimm is. Michael Grimm. How many years in jail did he do? Oh, two I, years, three years for. I, I, I don't. I don't, <laughs> don't know. I know. I know he he. He has served his time. He is um his he is um paid his debt to society. I don't think okay. it's worth talking about. So we're, take a look right here. Yeah. We got we're collecting our signatures to get on the ballot. All right, cool. But I, can I can I ask you a question? So sure. could you message? What's your message to? What's your message uh, as a congressman to the good people of Brooklyn and Staten Island? What would you like to? What would you like to say? What would you like? What do you represent? Yeah. Tell the people. Oh. Okay, Tell us. so so here it is. I'm a, a union worker. Okay. Uh, I'm a member of the IATSE. I file my taxes as a mechanic. Uh, I've lived in Brooklyn my entire adult life. And um, for me, the top three reasons I got in this race are uh, to protect unions and union workers and to create more union jobs, um, to build more public schools. Our schools are overcrowded. So strong public schools and... Um, Really, just a strong Are you public running on education. the Democratic side? Or Dem yeah, Democratic. The Democratic yeah. side. So, and as well, also um, health care. I'm, I'm for Medicare for all. all right. uh, I don't accept any uh, corporate influence or cor corporate contributions. Right. So, for me, removing profits from uh, the pharmaceutical industry and, and health care. Right. Sorry. And, okay. oh, take, a, take a shot of these dogs here. These are my little buddies. That's Lucas and Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Lucas, Lucy. Yeah. So, how do you? Let me. I'm just going to continue. How do you reconcile the fact that the uh, okay, you're running on a Democratic ticket, and a lot of us were Bernie Sanders supporters, and we we observed, uh, you know, the Democrats weren't so nice. They came in here and cheated, purged two thousand two hundred thousand votes off the uh, off the voter rolls. How do you reconcile that? How do you run? How do you how do you how do you tell the voters to to be comfortable running? Well, voting for a Democrat in light of the fact that the Democrats knowingly cheated. Well, I, I'm cheated not cheated the constituents. Of so, so again, like I don't have any background in politics. I'm a union worker. I don't have any connections to any type of political establishments on Democratic side or Republican side. I'm just a regular guy, and for me. Um, I chose the Democratic Party because um, it's traditionally been the Labor and the Union Party, and I, I want um, to perhaps strengthen and recreate some of that that old magic. And for me, I wrote it right here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, he's loyal to you, not parties. That I'm tired of division. And oh, 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 sorry, sorry. And for me, uh, you know, the thing is, is that your question. The best answer is that I'm not a. a Per se, um, a representative of the national DNC or any of that. Right. Uh, I'm just. It's just. But me. you would you would and concede that if you're if you're running on the Democratic ticket, that the Democratic ticket would ultimately 
in, in, in many ways dictate your votes, dictate your opinion, I, especially I in Congress? I don't believe so. For me, okay. it's uh, like, for me, there's things I'm going to agree with and disagree with on um, from any party. Right. And I'm certainly not controlled by like Nancy Pelosi or any national anything. Right. And for me, it's about what what's really the best for my constituents and what's best for working people, the people of this district, right. and also what I what, what I view to be our common values, um, our America, uh, sort of our American heritage and our trades, and um, sort of our, a patriotism in terms of um, what, what our common beliefs are. And, and again, to me, the division of parties... Do you, believe in the, do you believe that the Democratic elections in New York City are are real? Do you believe uh, yeah, that, I, that the I votes have, are actually counted? I, I have faith in the Democratic Party, but let I'm me... I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let, let you me, go. Let me let you go. Thank you. Though. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You I appreciate much. it. Thank you. Well, Shake your hand. Thank you very much. Just one second. Runs a, runs a, a, a YouTube channel. How are you doing, man? I, Good luck, man. Thanks. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you for being honest. Thank you. So that's Omar, you know. Thank you, guys. See you, man. So that's Omar, and uh, I wasn't going to be nice with him, you know. He's running as a Democrat here in New York, right? Can't be nice to these guys. You got to call him out on it, right? I fucking pushed that guy. I almost pushed him off the edge. <laughs> and you see how he constantly tries to. He's a good guy. I don't want to bash him. I, I want to. He went on the record, and that was very nice. And uh, it was a good interview. Peace out.